Hello everyone, and I'm sketching from my window again, again cheating, but it's very tempting because I have beautiful colors of blue and white, so I decided to paint some yellow houses opposite my um, window, so I'm starting actually from colors of those houses. I will choose the brightest one that I see. first and then I'll go to the snow and other areas. So this house in the shade and the roof is in the shade as well. Again, it's a very very schematic. It only gives me to give me idea can I do bigger painting so can I paint something later from it. So that's why I'm doing I'm using minimum amount of details in these paintings. So I'm squinting a lot. Because there, there will be trees on top of these two houses. So this is the shadow part of the houses. And then there are houses further away. They're kind of bluish. Have more blue in it. So I'm using blue and brown, touch of yellow, ochre, and touch of white. Very thinly. It's not a pure color, it's a mixed color, so it's kind of grayish further there. More white because there are some gray trees, gray houses covered in snow. I'm not interested in them as much. There is some snow on the road over there. And at the bottom of these houses, there's also like there are some deep snow shadows, so I'll get those as well. A little bit of touch of alizarin, touch of ultramarine, touch of white, and kind of mixing that brown in it as well because it's not very pure color, it's very further down there. There's some colors from the trees falling on the snow. Some of them deeper, some of them not as deep. Then I will use a uh, lighter colors later. So I think I will use the same color for actually, not the same color, but slightly brighter blue on top of the shadow roofs. So this is my shadow roof. There's some shadow roofs there. And over there at the bottom or at the back. A little bit lighter. I'm using my um, cleaner for brushes and thin as well, Gamsol again. So now we'll do a little bit of a rooftop. So I'm using white and touch cadmium yellow dip, just a touch. I hope you see my palette this time. So I'll just do the brightest roofs, then I know where I stand. I'm doing my brightest bright on the roof, the lightest light as well. And then squinting and looking where else I have the lightest bits.
will all kind of go like this, even the one that further. peekaboos of this light colors everywhere so I'm trying to get those in Now I'm going to do a little bit of background there, then it will be easy. I'll cover around the roofs. It will be easy to see where the roofs and where the trees. I'm doing some brown trees at the back. A kind of merging in the some of those merging in the roofs of the houses. This house, the darkest, this is the lightest, yeah, there is a tree here as well. So I'm using a little bit of brown, a little bit of plain gray that I have here in my palette. So this tree goes here this way, and I'm using some greens and browns as well for the trees at the back. I know my sun may change, but... There is one big tree here that much darker than the others. Kind of pine. So I'm doing this tree so I could see the contours of my... There are some trees at the back that are darker. It's kind of mix of mixed forest. And so there are some brown ones as well behind this. And I have some kind of fields in the background, they're not very obvious. And they're more like even blue color. Not very blue, different type of blue. <laughs> there are lots of different types of blues there. So mixing that green into blue just to see how it will look and adding more white because it's further further there and some of those fields have some snow in them as well so even lighter and obviously I will be using as always my smaller softer brush so right now I need to do the other house that I missed, this one. So there is more yellow, bright yellow in that house. So this is a kind of missed one little area here. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. This will be my house that is brighter. <laughs> I can always adjust it. So that's a brighter house and this is a lighter darker part of it that I missed. And then there is more dark here. I'm using a for a lighter yellow house, yellow ochre and cadmium yellow dip. And a touch of white. I haven't even got to the trees yet that in front of the house so that will change things a little because we will not see it as much. Just do a little bit of sky here. 
not much. I have more ground than sky this time. And then I will do snow and I'll go to my different brush and start going through more details. Because I can see this brush doesn't really help me much. So I'm doing almost like pure white because the snow is very, very adding touch of cadmium yellow deep at this point. And then I'll see. Also, also I'm thinking that this is a very, very small format I'm working on. I may even eliminate one of the trees there. I'll see how it goes. So I'm going to leave my bristle brush now and go to my smaller and softer brush. So I hope that would be a better fit for this <laughs> tiny painting with lots of objects. So that's a good way to try to simplify and squeeze yourself in a small format with a big brush. Okay, so now I have to focus and do some do some main shapes. So went on the tree, of course. <laughs> Once I do the trees, then it will be clear. Like, do I really need to go to the houses or not? Or I'm going to leave as it is again. Then I'm going with those trees at the back on the sky and on the fields. There are lots of pine trees there, but I'm only indicating some of them. There is a lighter tree here and it's closer to us, so I'm doing warmer and show some brighter areas on it. Some trees there in between. Don't have to paint all of them. So now I really need to go back to my rooftops and indicate the major ones. So the ones that in the light. So I have house here and I have house here. I also have the areas under there. As I talk and paint, my light keeps changing, so I'm really using the same mixtures. I just try to look where it's more blue, where it's more purple, where it's darker. The rooftops actually has more pure blue and not as dark as I think they are.
I'm using titanium white for my white. Actually, no. This roof goes like this. And like this. This is just the ridge of the roof in the further area, so. And I think to indicate some variations to the roofs, I can put some actual things on the roofs. I forgot how they're called. <laughs> um, actual pipes where the smoke goes from. I'm not sure how they're called anymore. Forgot. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, just indicate few one of them in the dark one of them in the light that's too grey to do it more brown to it and then I will use this grey mixture that I have a little bit more depth at the back in the trees so I'm looking from the far away trying to see step the step away a little and just see make sure I don't fall <laughs> just to see where the areas that need more light here so I can see some light falling actually coming through the those areas that in the shade but some light is passing through behind the trees I'm going to indicate some of that and maybe I'll start doing tree and then see what other adjustments I, I need to do oh, palette knife would work well on this one because I really want to make the white snow looking really really thick so you could almost feel it's a white sparkling snow sometimes it's hard to lay it down the way you want and pellet knife is the best thing that can help even with this soft brush But we'll see. So my sky is actually still lighter than I made it. So let me see if I can go up a little more. Should have started from sky. Sky is lighter, but there are clouds. So just trying to bring it up a tiny bit. Maybe add a little bit of yellow in there. Maybe a little bit more white and that fellow turquoise makes sky really really on the you only need touch but it really makes it su super blue. <laughs> Don't know which word to use for that. And make sure those hills at the back still still there kind of indication. They're called Fort Hills use some lighter white in that area there are lots of snow in the hills though the truth it doesn't matter much I don't want them to eat all of my sky so it's kind of inclined Okay, I 
I'll leave that area for now and go to the other area. That's what I normally do, like work a little bit in one area and then look in the other area and see how it goes and come back. Especially that once you compare it with the other areas, you may change again. So it looks like I did lots of the same trees, so I'm going to move them so they won't look the same. So now I'm going to my central tree. That's going to be interesting because I hope my paint goes on top of it. So I'm using some brown and some ultramarine blue and I think I added a yellow ochre here. So there was some green and mixture there so that's good because yellow ochre and those colors they make kind of gray tree color. So it goes against these houses, this tree. I'm just going with it. Seems to be I've painted all these roofs and everything and going with this tree now. So I'm using some more white to tone it down a little. And has some I made an even orange. It has very, very bright yellows. That's why I liked it in the light. It has some of those light yellow. So I'm going again for branches. Not going to do lots of branches because I'm just doing some branches. Just give indication it's a tree. So there are some. Branches there. Make sure I leave space because it's winter, there are no leaves on the tree. So, but there are some almost like golden color branches. They're obviously, feeling it's going to be warm. They're kind of waiting for spring. So, not to overdo. I potentially going to leave just one tree. So I'm going to do it slightly darker on this side. And slightly lighter on the other side. Yeah, I think um, if I step away I think I need to add a little bit more gold color to the very top because that's where I see it the most. Just very, very slight touches on the branches where I see not much. Yeah. And a little bit on this side, kind of yellow highlights. And on this side, it's more grayish. Notice. So that's why I didn't want, I shouldn't have <laughs> spent too much time on the houses because really I didn't need them that much. The only house I don't like is the one that blocked by the other tree that across the road and I think I'm going to kind of make them a little bit taller and further away. There is a roof or oh. there is a something on the roof there as well. I think I'll do it this way. It will look better than on the light color in there. So it wouldn't attract too much attention. I can even now uh, do some thinner trees that I see in the background. They may work actually good. 
only indication of some trees. Not too many trees. And the more like kind of brownish purple color. That kind of gives um, more dimension and depth. And now I'm going to do a final check on the roofs and see which ones need some brighter, lighter color where I can put those little peekaboos. I call them peekaboos because you can just see maybe the, a little bit more white here. even between the trees there are like rooftops Snow already started melting. I missed opportunity to paint it when it's much better with everything white, but that's okay. Even this will work. And final touches on the snow. a little bit more that white color with that golden snow you can see some again some little bits of light with the trees It's not as dark there either. <laughs> so that's why I say everything is compared. Once I put this, I can see this is not as dark. But I'll leave some like light shadows. shadows from the trees. So I think this painting, or I would call it this um, sketch, not painting. The sketch is almost done and I think it gives me an idea how I would do a bigger painting, so what areas to focus on. And I hope it gave you also idea how you can do small sketches continue painting, start new ones, like I read in one of the books that doesn't matter how it works out, maybe you're not happy with it, or maybe you like some elements and don't like the others, but in the end it's a very good practice and it makes you feel um, accomplished that you did something for the day. I'm going to bring it closer. This is a painting. This is a palette. So those two paintings I did before. So I probably will do another one today. May film it, may not. Not sure yet. And um, this is painting of today. It's just snow is such an inspiring <laughs> thing that once you see how it is beautiful with blue shadows, you want to paint it. So I'll see you soon again and happy painting.